Let's now move over to 4A Division One, the top 10 in 4A Division One, as uh, ranked by Dave Campbell's Texas Football, the official rankings provider of the Associated Press. We start with the number 10 team in the state. Boom. The Wildcats of Kennedale are the number 10 team to start the year in Dave Campbell's Texas football. Another 10-win team uh, last year. They've got a lot to like. Uh, there's a lot to like in this bunch. They bring back six starters defensively, which is where I think it's going to start. This team has team speed all over the field. Uh, Richard Barrett, always good for that. Uh, I think that they are on the rise. This is one of the, you remember it was five years ago they played for a title in 2017. I don't know if it's quite up to that caliber, but I think they're going to be very dangerous. Kennedale starts year number 10 in Dave Campbell's Texas football. To number nine, let's go west and let's go north to find the Demons of Dumas, the number nine team in Dave Campbell's Texas football. An experienced defense is going to buoy this squad early with eight starters back on the defense and their offensive line figures to be pretty good. Now, they also have a lot of replacing to do with the skill position mm -hmm. spots. Quarterback, running back, receiver. We saw that at seven on seven. That's where it's going to be. That's where the, the money is going to be made is on whether or not they can replace quarterback, running back, receiver. They If they replace the, the offensive skill position guys, Dumas is right back in the mix mm -hmm. and it could be a team to win Region 1. In fact, if I may spoil the rest of the rankings, they are our current favorite to win Region 1. Dumas starts year number nine in Dave Campbell's Texas football. Number eight, the Bulldogs, the Kilgore, the number eight team in Dave Campbell's Texas football, our first entry from Region 3, and our first entry from the right side of the bracket here. Quarterback and offensive uh, and the skill position guys are going to be dangerous for this Kilgore team. They bring back 11 starters from last year's team that fell just short to Tyler Chapel Hill. This is a team that does is going to be young up front, going to be young on the offensive line, and they do have to replace some very talented pieces. But Kilgore is a name to know. An 11-2 mark last year could just be the tip of the iceberg. Keep an eye on Kilgore, the number eight team in Dave Campbell's Texas football. To number seven, the La Vega Pirates are the number seven team to start the year in Dave Campbell's Texas football. Uh, this team is going to be able to run the ball. Their offensive line is going to be exceptional. Their running game is going to be exceptional. The question on, is on defense, which is pretty young, pretty green there. Uh, three starters are back. Uh, they're going to have to score early. This offense is going to have to do a lot of the heavy lifting early to get them going. But at the same time, few coaches in the state I would trust with a defense more than Don Hyde at Waco La Vega. He's going to get those defensive guys going. Keep it on La Vega. They start the year number seven in Dave Campbell's Texas football. From Region 2 to Region 4, we find the Corpus Christi Cal Allen Wildcats, the number uh, 6 team in Dave Campbell's Texas football. This is a Cal Allen team that is going to have a new coach in Steve Campbell, which is going to be very strange, and I'm absolutely <laughs> going to make that mistake like three or four times during the course of the season. But this is a team that, of course, has a ton of tradition. They're running back, the running game is going to be fantastic. Do it to replace offensive line and front seven. That's the question for Steve Campbell in his opening 10 year as the head coach at Cal Allen. But we don't think they're going away. We think they're the favorite to start the year in Region 4. Cal Allen starts the year number 6 in Dave Campbell's Texas football. Into the top 5 we go where we find the Salina Bobcats is the number 5 team in Dave Campbell's Texas football moving up from 4A Division 2 to 4A Division 1. A state semifinalist in 4A Division 2 is going to be absolutely spectacular defensively. really like what they seem brings back defensively. They do have a, a, a strong quarterback coming back and a couple of strong running backs. Questions on the offensive line. That's the real question for Bill Elliott's bunch. But at the same time, this is a program that uh, has plenty of consistency, has been consistently excellent over the course of, the, over the course of their the last few years. And even though they're moving up, I think they're an immediate contender. Keep it on Salina, the number five team in Dave Campbell's Texas football. To number four, the Rice Birds of El Campo start the year number four in Dave Campbell's Texas football. They've got a guy that maybe you've heard of named Ruben Owens. They're running back. He's back, and he's a star. Uh, they are also going to be exceptional on the at the linebacker spots, but they are going to be a little bit inexperienced on the offensive line, and their secondary is going to need a little bit of work. But that said, this is a team in, in El Campo that has sights set on AT&T Stadium simply because of the quality of playmakers they've got, most notably Ruben Owens. He's a singular talent that can absolutely take over this classification. El Campo starts here number four in Dave Campbell's Texas football. To number three... The Chapel Hill Bulldogs are the number three team in Dave Campbell's Texas football to start the year. The offense, my goodness. Yeah. This offense is going to be nuts. It was nuts last year. And, and they're they, still all young. They bring back <laughs> 10 starters from last year's ball club. This is a team that is going to be absolutely explosive all over the field. Now, 
Defense needs some work. Defense brings back four starters for Jeff Reardon's squad. But this team played 15 games last year, and I think that deep playoff run really helps them with the experience factor, especially on the defensive side, which is going to be relatively young. Chapel Hill is a bona fide certified state championship contender. There are favorites in Region 3. There are favorites on the right side of the bracket. Tyler Chapel Hill starts year number three in Dave Campbell's Texas football. The number two... The China Spring Cougars are the number two team in Dave Campbell's Texas football to start the year. The unbeaten, undisputed 4A Division II state champions from a year ago make the move up to 4A Division I, and this is going to be a different-looking ball club. The defense is going to lead the way again, but they are going to need to replace a quarterback most uh, in Major Bowden, who is off to the next level, our Mr. Texas Football Player of the Year. How do they do that? If they replace an all quarterback and four offensive linemen, which may be even more important than the quarterback, mm-hmm. that's a question. But this is a team that has championship pedigree. Even with a new coach, we think they're going to be right back in the mix. China Springs starts the year as, a, as, as the number two team in Dave Campbell's Texas football. But China Spring is not the favorite in Region 2. They're not even the favorite in their own district. The number one team in the state is the Stephenville Yellow Jackets. Coming off of the uh, state championship a year ago in 4A Division 1, this team is going to be pretty explosive offensively. Offensive line is going to be excellent. They bring back Ryder Lambert, their quarterback. Mm-hmm. They've got, they're going to have a strong secondary. Their defensive front is going to be pretty good. They're going to be a little young at the wide receiver spots and a little young at the linebacker spots. But this is a good group coming back. This is a, there's a lot to like about this squad. A lot to like about the possibility of Sterling Doty's Yellow Jackets going back to back. They begin the year as the favorite in that de- uh, that absolutely brutal District yeah. 5 4 a Division 1. They start the year as a favorite in Region 2. They start the year as our favorite to win the 1A, 4A Division 1 State Championship. So there you have it. 4A Division 1 state, state rankings. Number 10, Kennedale. Number 9, Dumas. Number 8, Kilgore. Number 7, Waco La Vega. Number 6, Corpus Christi, Kyle Allen. Number 5, Salina. Number 4, El Campo. Number 3, Tyler Chapel Hill. Number 2, China Spring. And the number 1 team in the state, the Stephenville Yellow Jackets. Your de facto state semifinals, according to this, would be Stephenville against Dumas and Tyler Chapel Hill and Cal Allen. Mm. Would be your de facto. This this is a weird. This is chalky. This is it is, but because of realignment, mm-hmm. it got yeah. thrown into the blender. Yeah. Because, for example, Region Two is nuts. Yes. You've got five of the top ten in Region One: Stephenville, China Spring, Salina, Waco, Vega, Candale. You got three of those teams in the same district. That's going to be tough. Plus, then you go over to Region Three: Tyler Chapel Hill, El Campo, mm-hmm. El Kilgore. Tough. Plus, a team like Lumberton, which I've got really high hopes for. Lindale as well. Mm-hmm. Region four has traditionally been pretty wide open. Pretty wide open. To Cal an Allen's extent, ki- yeah. Cal Allen's kind of the de facto favorite. Yeah. I don't know that I love Cal Allen this year. Mm-hmm. I can see a team like Bernie. I can see a team like Canyon Lake, Rockport Fulton maybe making a run, Marble Falls making mm-hmm. a run in region four. But the real question mark and the real mystery box is in region one. Yep. We've got Dumas number nine. I like Dumas. But you can't. T- I don't think you can tell me that Dumas is head and shoulders above the rest of that region. Mm-mm. You know who I might. You know who I might end up liking best in that region. Hold on to your hats. El Paso Riverside. I like this El Paso Riverside bunch. Yeah. Them or Springtown or Andrews, but each of them have a lot of poles to fill at different places. And I then by am. the time that the champion comes out of uh, Region Two, you're looking for a hard battle. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. I'm going to go back to your Tyler, to your comment from 4AD2. Mm-hmm. Y'all messed around and let Tyler Chapel Hill get Same some thing. really good experience last year. Same thing. Year. You're you know, exactly they're right. They're battle-tested now. They are. They played. And they were, all, they were almost all sophomores. Their quarterback, their running back, and their star wide receiver were all sophomores last year. They played in a semifinal last year, and they lost to LBJ by a field goal. Like It was a war. It was a war. And, and all of them are back. I think this is a Chapel Hill team that could win it all, really and truly. And I think I expect to see them at AT and T. I was six and to say, and we can we can blow up a spot right here. We talked to Coach Reardon a couple two years ago, and he said, "Man, when this class comes through, mm-hmm. you better watch out." So they've known about this right. class coming through for a long time. 
There's four Division One, the top ten. Of course, we have expanded rankings in the 2022 Summer Edition of Dave Campbell's Texas Football, which you can get at texasfootball.com slash subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at texasfootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out texasfootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at texasfootball.com slash subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.